recently I had a few people asking me in the comments about how to mirror guides in uh, X-Gen Interactive Groom. And the short answer is there is no way to do that. That's only with um, the original X-Gen. And if you're familiar with that workflow, it's, you know, creating guides on one side and then selecting them and mirroring them over to the other side if you're trying to work in symmetry. But there are a few workarounds um, and there are reasons why I believe that they don't have those tools available in uh, Interactive Groom. So the first way I can think of to w work with guide symmetrically is to start your project or your groom in original XGen. So let's just for this example make a sphere, scale it up, increase the transforms, and we'll create a new description. Placing and shaping guides. And we'll add a few guides to one side. And so, for example, if this was your project, and you had your guide set up, uh, you duplicate them to the other side, refresh this, so then this is your action description. What you would do then is to take this and convert it to an interactive group description. So you go up to select your collection, generate, convert to interactive groom. And then hit convert. And you are all set. And now you can use all the tools available to you in interactive groom and add any number of layers and modifiers on top of this. But it is very bare bones when you bring it in. You'll lose all, if you had a bunch of modifiers, you pretty much lose everything uh, when you convert it over. Um, and then you have to, you know, add a sculpt layer and turn that on edit and so on and so forth. All right, so the second way I can think of to um, work symmetrically with the guides is to draw your guides out as curves. And I just did a video not too long ago uh, about a workflow using paint effects and then converting those to curves and then converting those curves to guides but this is kind of, it's a pretty similar workflow. Um, but if you want a more in-depth tutorial about that, check out that video. So let's say this is one of our curves, oops. And then I'll draw one more. And let's do, and we'll duplicate both of these. And We'll rotate them like this. So this is our, these are our hair, this is our curve uh, guide hairstyle. And we had it set up on the one side and we want it to be symmetrical on the other side. So we're gonna shift control D. Oops. It would help to modify free transforms, reset transforms, get the history and then shift control D. Okay, now that's symmetrical. Now what you want to do is go into XGen Interactive Groom, create Interactive Groom Splines, create, um, and then you want to create a guide modifier, select all your curves that you want to be used as, as guides, control select guide, go into the attribute editor and say use selected curve as guide. Uh, and then one thing I will you will notice and that I'll, I'll add is um, for this technique to work the root has to be very very close to the surface otherwise you see how it, it took these curves that were further away from the surface and translated them so that the root was like touching so just a heads up um, but there's a, there's a workaround for that too you can uh, select first CV and then make this a live surface. Oops. Select first CV and then just 
it'll snap right to that circuit. When you go to convert the curves to guides, you won't have this translating error. But, all right, the, let's delete all of this. The last way, and it's not really even a technique, but it's just, it's working with symmetry turned on within an interactive grim. And I think this is what I was saying in the beginning is why there is no mirror guides option within interactive grim, because I think the workflow is expecting you to work symmetrically if you want your guides to be symmetrical. So let me go back into this guide and I'll create and I will take the density brush and just delete everything we have. So, I mean, really, this is how I work uh, most of the time in interactive groom, unless it's an asymmetrical hairstyle. Um, I just go on X Gen or, and then hit the place brush. And in my tool settings, I just make sure that symmetry is on. And then whenever I place a guide, it'll appear on the other side as well. And then whatever tools that I use with the next gen, you just have to make sure symmetry is turned on in the X and then your guides will match. Oops. Make sure edit is turned on. And then your guides will match. Um, and then one reason, well, you have to have I think at least four guides or at least two guides on each side or something in order for the description to follow it. But there you go. So yeah, uh, this is probably the easiest way I can think of. And if you are, for whatever reason, symmetry is not working, you can always just go in and delete a specific, specific guide and then freeze everything off and then replace it with symmetry turned on. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully that cleared everything up. I tried to make this one as short as possible. Those are three different workflows that hopefully will help clear thing, everything up, working with symmetry within XGen Interactive Groom. And uh, if you have any other questions about anything I went over or a workflow that I did know about that lets you mirror guides, please let me know because I would, I would love to know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, thank you for watching.